This is one I really wanted to talk to you about. Is a passion project for, uh, for myself and for my audience. Um, hopefully they know about it by now. I have the video, The People's Gauntlet. So before we uh, started going live, I talked to you a little bit about it. And basically, yes, it is a candidate vetting system. And I always like to say that um, it was inspired by Colin Allred, who uh, was for Medicare for All when he first ran in the primaries. And then when he got elected, he dropped it like a bad habit. Like, that was it. He was There was an article, and it's in the video, The Hidden Case of the Justice Democrat, where there's an article that talks specifically about about four or five different candidates who touted Medicare for All, including Katie Hill in California, who's out now. But they touted Medicare for All in their primaries, and then when they got elected, they just dropped it. So my thing is, I'm hoping to start this process where if you want our money, if you want us to volunteer for you, then I need you to do the People's Gauntlet. And I need you to create a website, create a YouTube page, and on that YouTube page, I need you to do the legs and understand that, you know, it's going to take time. You, there's certain things that people are going to want to learn. So, for example, Palestine and Israel, that, that topic is definitely going to be one of the legs um, on the People's Gauntlet. And I know everybody doesn't know the specifics of that. So if you want to put down a, towards the end, like you have your priorities of what you want to do first, but then you eventually get to it so that we know where you stand on it, it's up to the candidate. But we need you to talk, articulate your policies that you believe in so that we know, okay, I can trust this person. And you have to convince us that you're convinced yourself that you are passionate about Medicare for all, about ranked choice voting, about uh, police reform. So Kimberly, tell me, what do you think about this idea? Um, yeah, I think it's a great idea. I would also add in, I don't, are there any questions about where the money's coming from? Do you mean they should have a, a super PAC ban or something like that? A corporate ban? Yeah, I think so. See, I didn't even think I, I about thought, that. That's a good, I'm glad you mentioned this. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I think people say a lot of things, okay? Mm -hmm. When folks are trying to get elected, you know, they'll, they'll tell you whatever you want to hear. Mm -hmm. But the money always shows you where exactly their convictions are okay and okay. listen when you take a look at folks who ever said they were for medicare for all and drop medicare for all take a look at that where the money from their yeah. campaigns is coming from i yes. can assure you some of that money is coming from insurance companies which yeah. is why you can never trust anyone who says i'm for medicare for all I'm for all this stuff but at the same time mm -hmm. i'm taking money from the same people who want to make sure this never happens now nah, totally and I i'm even wondering if the establishment happens to endorse you like is that maybe they're playing 3d chess where they're able to get like so for example like justice democrats if they get their endorsement but then and i don't think this has ever happened yet but then nancy pelosi endorses the same person i've seen actually hillary clinton endorse St stacy abrams and then, and Bernie, and I don't know who endorsed first, but Bernie mm -hmm. also endorsed Stacey Abrams. And I was like, hmm, I was scratching my head with that endorsement. But I wonder if, like, when we see things like that, should be we should we be wary of that of type course. of situation? Yeah. If there's anything I learned about the establishment, at least mm -hmm. the current iteration of the establishment, is that they hate the principles of the left. They call it a litmus test. Them. Yeah, I mean, they hate the ideas. The idea yeah. that, okay. like, poverty Obviously. shouldn't exist, that people should have opportunities, that we should build egalitarian societies. These are ideas that many of them tout, but in reality, when it comes to making it true, they hate it. Yeah. Why? Because many of these people come from privileged positions where they have to face the truth. A lot of the reason why you're in the privileged position you're in is because you were born there. Not because you're any better than anyone else. And so since I've learned that they hate progressives so much, I know that they would never, 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 never endorse a real progressive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not this iteration of the establishment. Yeah. They'd rather kill themselves. <laughs> well, I, I'll say this. I guess um, challengers, right? Because I think AOC did get endorsed by Nancy Pelosi. 
this time around. Yeah, after she became a powerhouse. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But that's true. <laughs> she had no choice, right? Then you have Jamal Bowman. Exactly. There's no choice there anymore. Barack Obama endorsed Jamal Bowman, you know, after he won his uh, primary, of course. So I'm hoping to work with you in the future as I flush this out. And I thank you for that as well. Um, in the comments below, guys, let me know if there's anything that you would add to the People's Gauntlet, you know, that you would want candidates to answer like and subscribe